Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about top off reservoirs. So top off reservoir is basically a reservoir that we're going to use to auto correct our hydroponic systems. You're probably not going to be using a top off reservoir too much um, in like a drain to waste system or something like that, you're usually just going to fill up as much as you need for your amount of waterings, run through that system and then refill it up. But for like a recirculating deep water culture, an ebb and flow, a recirculating drip, things where you're going to try to keep your water around anywhere from 7 to 10 all the way up to you know 21 days depending on what systems you run. Um, in the deep water culture systems you can run as much as three weeks without doing a res change if everything's working properly. Um, during the course of those weeks you're going to see your parts per million numbers changing, obviously ideally going down, not up because that would mean you know they're concentrating in there, but ideally they're going down and uh, their part, your pH in veg tends to usually want to uh, creep up on you, um, where in flour your pH tends to usually want to drift down on you. So the concept of a top off reservoir would be uh, any kind of uh, vessel, uh, you know, a small square reservoir, a large 55 gallon drum, something as small as a five gallon bucket. We would need to put a hole, a drill a hole into this or into this um, and put some kind of uh, shut off valve on the front. They make them that can accept PEX tubing. They make them that use barb fittings that you can just slide tubing over. But ideally we would hook something up that we could also use with our float valves. Now, float valves are a valve that's going to sit on the inside of your system. You set the level of water that you would like that system to stay at, hook your water from your top off reservoir up to your float valve, and whenever that system starts to drink that water up, the float valve will, through gravity, drop, allowing water to flow back into your system until the system becomes filled again, and then just through uh, simple force, the sh shut off or float valve will be closed. Um, so through that method, you can keep your system at the perfect water level at all times. And ideally, as that nutrient drops and that pH changes, instead of actually adding nutrients directly to your system, which depending on what system you're running could be um, not ideal, um, you could add it to your top off reservoir and gradually adjust your parts per million and your pH. So the rule of thumb is probably around 10% above your parts per million. So if um, you know I was running 700 parts per million, I would add my top off res right around 770. Um, and if my pH was continually dropping in my system and I wanted to stay around 5.6 or 5.7, I would probably add my top off reservoir, uh, my pH would probably be around 5.9, maybe up to 6.0. That way, as my pH in my system drops, it's going to drink my top off reservoir down. That higher pH will bring my pH back up and keep it right where I want it to. And the same thing with uh, the parts per million. As that plants eat the nutrients out of that water over the course of my week, before I do my res change, I want to add more water. But with my top off res, I have the parts per million a little higher. So as that plant eats up that nutrients and eats that water up, it's replaced with stronger nutrients, which just brings it back up to where you wanted it. So if my goal was 700 parts per million and I want to keep it there for a week, if I keep my top off res around 770, as that system drinks it down and eats it up, this will keep my parts per million right around 700 for me and it'll keep my pH right around where I want it to. Um, it sounds a little complicated, but once you start putting it into practice, it's really easy to figure out. It's also really nice for you know systems that really drink up a lot of water over the course of that week. You really don't want a ton of fluctuation with water levels. You don't really want a ton of fluctuation with parts per million or pH. So a top off reservoir is a great way to uh, not have to do a lot of work, but have your system stay at a very constant level um, of uh, or consistency basically through the whole run, which in the end should produce a bigger, healthier yield. So all this equipment, float valves, shut off valves, reservoirs, buckets, all that kind of stuff um, available on our website. I hope this video helped you out, gave you an idea about how to uh, slowly adjust your water levels in your hydro systems um, through using a top off res. Uh, thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you guys next time.